Welcome to UOIT, Canada's newest university. At UOIT, we offer accredited programs in electrical and software engineering from the undergraduate to postgraduate levels. We focus on providing cutting-edge research facilities, professional faculty, and industry partnerships for our students. Our research topics are focused on the most recent advancements and challenges which, which exist in the industrial and academic world today. Our industry partnerships have provided our students with co-op positions at top-tier companies such as Ontario Power Generation, BlackBerry, Simons, Celestica, Advanced Micro Devices, and IBM. UOIT has also been hailed as a leader in education by the media. For example, Canada's premier news magazine, Maclean's, ranked UOIT as the number one university in student resource investment. Now, here's a small sampling from our students about their great experiences. I'm a fourth year software engineering student here at UOIT. Uh, I chose UOIT because it's a small university, but it's growing very quickly. Here in the Advanced Wireless Lab of the University of Ontario, the Institute of Technology, we're working on different projects, including uh, signal processing, image processing, and wireless networks. My own project is mainly on cooperative communication and two-way relay networks. It's mainly about how to retrieve images securely from a database. There are a lot of security issues. There should be some security provisions to look into the authentication and authorization. The advantage of they're only 10 years old, so all the equipment, labs and such, is very state-of-the-art. As opposed to other universities that are maybe older, their equipment's not as new. At the moment, I'm working on, uh, on autonomous robotic control systems, so that means I'm writing the software so that the robot can do what it needs to do. Second year, I had a co-op position at SNC Lavalin, where I worked with Global Information Technologies and uh, performed analysis of their global IT infrastructure. I did usage studies to determine how I could optimize the usage of their data center facilities in Etobicoke for mining and metallurgy, which is the largest division of SNC Lavalin. Uh, I was able to work with massive server data centers in hundreds of square foot uh, rooms with massive UPS and massive air conditioning systems and so on, and I quite enjoyed it. UIT has at least over another over 60 clubs. There is IEEE, the Institute of Electrical and Electronics Engineers, uh, who represent all electrical and software engineering students and uh, assist in giving you networking with industry. There is a very active computer science and software engineering club. In electrical engineering, you get a CV program as well. You also work with hardware, like hardware anything from from you know microprocessors and tiny circuitry to big power grids. And there's a lot of math involved with it too. So so it's very diversified. It the leaves you with a whole window of opportunities to do it. In software engineering you really get the opportunity to apply what you're learning in the classroom, which is very different from other engineering disciplines where it can be often hard as an undergraduate student, I had the opportunity to make an encrypted text messaging application for Android, uh, which was essentially just an idea that myself and some friends had, and we were able to, for one of our courses, just make this a reality. Um, as well, we were able to make a free room finding service for students, which was, again, another idea that we thought would be really helpful, and we were able to do that as part of our database systems course. And lastly, uh, we even made an entire election platform for student bodies, uh, which some of the clubs are using for their elections each year. Through the Google Summer of Code program, I was able to get a job working at CERN. My co-op uh, opportunity at AMD, I did uh, a lot of what's called continuous integration. And, uh, these are usually very useful for large companies where developers, after they've made changes to code, can commit it and then have their code automatically compiled. This summer I'm working on uh, research. I actually won the uh, NSERC USRA, um, which is the Undergraduate Student Research Award. Um, and so I'm being funded uh, by the federal government and also in part by my research supervisor at the university. And everything here is pretty much state of the art, which is I think something that really sets UOIT apart from many of the other schools in southern Ontario. 